Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to uh, tell you how to interface and control an LED using 8051 microcontroller. So we'll be using an assembly language program to write a program in assembly language uh, to blink LED with delay. So we will write an assembly code to blink an LED with the delay. Now let's see what will be the program for this. We will use Keel Microvision for writing the program for the assembly language. And we will compile the code and we will generate an X file. And that X file will be loaded to the 8051 target device. Now let's see how to work with the scale microvision. So once you open the scale microvision, this is going to be the UI where you will have the project window and a workspace here. And uh, these workspace will be used uh, to write uh, the code here. So first step is go to the project and select new microvision project. So here, when you select a new microvision project, you can select any of the location that you wish to do it. So we'll have it in the documents and we'll create a project by name the name test project. So need not give an extension for this. You can simply say test and then save. The project will be saved. But now the project will have has to be built with certain controller. So we have to select which controller that we are going to use. So since we are using an Atman series, Atmel 8.9, C5.1 we'll use. See this uh, project, whatever the target device used, we need not be the same as what we use. Uh, whatever the functional block of 8051 you are using, supposed to be similar to one which we are using in the target device. So we can select any of this, provided whatever the model that we are working uh, will have a similarity in it. So we'll choose 80. Uh, 89 c 51 and uh, so none of this option need to be cross checked so it's a uh, it will ask whether you want a startup code or a folder so we don't want any startup code we'll write our own set of assembly code for this so now see you can see here this is where the project is created now now we need to create uh, an assembly file and uh, we need to write assembly code for that so open a simple editor window here itself now you can start typing the code so code we can start typing now see here is a program that i have typed for writing the uh, for blinking the led so starting with this ORG instruction, ORG is an assembly directive to originate the program. And then we have move instruction to load the port zero value with zero zero H. So this is actually initializing port zero uh, as uh, to be uh, not as an output port, actually we are getting the status on that port as zero zero. And uh, we are loading a value to accumulator zero zero later we will be using that value so that value is loaded to port zero since we every time this function comes this particular program executes in a uh, loop so every time a zero zero is loaded a delay is called here and uh, again ff is loaded then again a delay is called and then it loops up now here is a simple delay program that we have used this delay program gives a small amount of the delay. The calculation of the delay will be explained later how exactly it does. It is in a nested, nested looping. So every time the register R0 and R1 loaded with the FF value, first time the R1 decrements after the full set of decrements till zero, the R0, the outer cycle decrements by one and inner cycle will be again reloaded. So similar way, the delay will be generated. So this program, we need to be saved. This is it, simply there in the text. We need to save this code. So this has to be saved in a location 
wherever you have saved your project this can be the name as blink.asm we're supposed to give the extension here in which format we want to save so give it as blink.asm as a name save it so once you save it you can see the highlights here because now it is considered in the assembly file format and you can see the highlighted text here for the label it is different and for the registers it is different for the values it is different for the comments it is different so this is the program that we have written now this program has to be added to the source group so right click on the source group and you can files you can select an option here add files to source group click here now select the project you can see in this window you can see it is always by default selecting it to dot c so what you do is better you select asm or you can say all so since our file is assembly file having extension dot asm you can see here file is there as blink dot asm simply press one add it appears over here then close it so you can see here file is already as so even if i close it it is already there with our project so every time you can whatever the project you created you can keep adding the files to it whichever the assembly file you want to compile so once it is done the next step is to assemble it so for the assembly go to the project and you can click for build target just select option the build target as you can see here the build target option you can see zero error zero warning comes and your build target has given you the file now we need an hex file for this so hex file need to be set where the hex file options can be set so what you do is go to the click on the target of the project right click on the target you get option for the target click on this option now go to this there are so many settings in that select an output so output will give you the what is the name of the executable file that you want to execute so what executable we want for this particular program we say this could be a blink we want it as a blink by default name of the project appears here so you can select whichever the name of the executable you want you want a hex file to be created then just physically you can mark it here to create hex file and say okay so once you do this and once again if you build the project you can see here creating hex file blink.as this blink is already created in the folder where this file is created we can check that so if you go to the folders so you can see that option uh, if you'll see that file which is which is being created see you can see here the location that is in my document and you can see here the blink.hex file is being created so this is how we can see we can save the file so this is how any of the project for 8051 in assembly language uh, when you create uh, when you write a program you can compile it and you can generate an hex file also without any error you can uh, change so for any modification in to the uh, 8051 for uh, in mean memory or maybe with the utilities you can suppose to select this device settings here so you change the device settings and that will change the configuration for this so this is how the project uh, can be built using keel microvision